This country is completely ruined. The biggest strike for nurses in NHS history is just starting today. Adding to that, the Royal Mail, the Rail, the driving instructors, the border controls, and goodness knows how many, the ambulance service and all of these other supposedly state national services are all on fucking strike. Now, nurses want a 19% pay rise. The government say that is unsustainable and unaffordable. They are at an impasse, just like they are with Royal Mail over Christmas, just like they are with the rail services over Christmas. And I cannot remember a worse state that our country was in. Maybe the Second World War. Like, we're probably not as useless and as ruinous since the Second World War. War. How many people are going to die because the nurses are on strike? Now, of course, the nurses say it's non emergency care. However, people will probably die because the nurses are on strike. People will probably die because the ambulances are on strike. Businesses will be ruined over. Their most busy, productive and profitable time over Christmas because of Royal Mail strikes and rail strikes. Tilia said doom and gloom. Well, give me something positive about this country. The taxes are going up and up. You're, you are actually taxed on what you spend and what you buy. One uh, minimum two thirds of what you earn. Minimum. You are working two thirds to three quarters of your life for the government. For the NHS to be fucked, for the ambulance services to be fucked, for the Royal Mail to be fucked, for the rail system to be fucked, for the ambulances to be fucked, for the roads to be fucked. That's another thing. The highway workers are going on strike. <laughs> and actually, yeah, you're right, Sonia. I am a pretty positive kind of guy. I'll tell you how I'm positive. Next year, when we go into a recession and then depression and prices of everything fall off a cliff, including property... I'm going to be buying up a load of property and people are going to call me evil capitalist landlord bastard. But this was caused by the government. This was caused by Brexit. This was caused by lockdown one, two and soft three. This was caused by, what, 500 billion spent on lockdowns and vaccines and you name it. It'll be a trillion. This is caused by 2.3 trillion of national debt, which takes, what, tens or hundreds of billions in interest that you have to pay for. Massive inflation, soaring cost of living crisis, heating crisis, energy crisis, food crisis. It's all fucked. It's all fucked. And I personally blame the central banks and the governments. The central banks easily. Um, Bank of England, if you're watching, you know you should have put interest rates up sooner. You could have put it up slowly and gently and progressively. And you could have controlled inflation even before lockdown. And you didn't. Uh, and then lockdown two shouldn't have happened. Soft lockdown three shouldn't have happened. And, and, and get this, right? The people who fucking ruined the country got voted back in to be prime minister. The people who ruined the country got let off scot-free and now is charging quarter of a million pound a speech. Jackie has called it the grand rising. The new world order, the great reset, own nothing, be happy. I don't know what's going on. But today and tomorrow, the nurses are on strike. They want a 19% pay rise. I mean, to be honest, where are the government going to be able to find that sort of money? Honestly. So anyway, I actually think there's massive opportunity here. Am I pissed off? Yes. Um... Do I think the government have run our country into the ground? Yes. Are there some things that were really hard for this government that it's easy to say on the outside? Yeah, probably. Certainly COVID version one. You know, who would have kept the country open when millions of people they thought could have died? I don't know. But look at these massive corporations 
not really paying much in tax and pulling the strings of the politicians. It was obvious with Liz Truss, wasn't it? She was just an absolute puppet. It was completely obvious. She had no authority, autonomy or leadership ability or capability whatsoever. That became obvious. Here's the thing, though. I'm an entrepreneur and I have to see the upside. I have to turn into opportunity. If I don't, the 144 staff I have in the office don't have a job. The millions I pay in tax revenue for my local economy disappears. So I have to see the upside. I have to see the opportunity and I have to take the lemons and turn it into lemonade. That's all you can do. That is all you can do. And here are some opportunities. Number one, there's going to be businesses that unfortunately are going to be running to the ground. Really, thanks to the government and the central banks, you could pick them up cheap or there'll be less competitors in your space for your new side hustle or to start a business. Or um, you could buy real estate and property on the cheap. For sure you could. Um, in our local area, at the lower end of the market, the property market has dropped 15% in two months. 15% in two months. That is a crash. 15% in two months prorated over a year. That's a hell of a lot. So there are actually a lot of upside opportunities, no thanks to the government, but in reaction to... Um, the difficulty. You know, they say in business, observe the masses, do the opposite. They say be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, this Sunday, 7.30ish p.m., I'm going to do a free live training for you on my business and income predictions for 2023. So I'm probably going to cover for about 60 to 90 minutes ways to get your quickest amount of cash flow, ways to um, not just survive but thrive through the upcoming depression and crash. Um, and some predictions for 2023 in business. I've been an entrepreneur for 16 years. I've done more than 150 million pounds. I have 360 properties. I have 1,250 tenants. And I'm going to share the mistakes I made and the hard lessons through lockdown. And I'm going to reveal it all. This would usually only be for paid Rob.team members. But I'm going to give you all here a free ticket as long as you commit. So here's the link. Robmore.live forward slash Sunday. That's Robmore.live forward slash Sunday. Go register now. You won't have to pay anything. 60 to 90 minutes plus Q&A session to help you not just survive, but thrive. I won't be saying things like live below your means and, you know, don't have coffee or lunch until this is over. Only heat one room in your house and everyone just sit in that room for the winter. This is not going to get you through. You cannot save your way out of this. You cannot reduce your expenses over, uh, over this. You can't live below your means because your means have already dropped. So I'm going to help you start businesses, scale businesses, see opportunities. Um, I'm going to help you raise money and look for opportunity in 2023. So the link is robmore.live forward slash Sunday because it's on Sunday. Um, there'll be no recordings and no replays. So you need to register now. I won't charge you. It's a gift from me. My Sunday sessions are usually exclusively for Rob.team members, but I'm doing a big one this Sunday. I normally do my business predictions for 2023, which are wildly popular. Um, they usually max out with the thousand people that can register on my webinar platform. I usually do it early Jan 23, but I'm doing it now because I think it's vital that you are ready because 2023 is going to be the most disruptive, crazy, chaotic year. There are going to be some really hard losers, mostly not thanks to the government, but there are going to be some big winners. That is how it works. So the link is robmore.live forward slash Sunday. I'll see you there. Um, doesn't matter if you haven't got much capital to invest, you can start and get to five or 10 grand a month relatively quickly. I'm going to give you the three fastest ways to 10K a month and the fastest ways to 100 grand a year clear. And just, um, I'm going to aim this at sort of startup. So if you're already doing seven figures, the predictions will help, but the business opportunities are for people who want to start side hustles, you know, want to replace their job, want extra income streams. It's in the evening. You'll see all the details on Rob Moore dot live forward slash Sunday. I'll put the link in the comments in a moment. Thanks for tuning in. The nurses go on strike today. It's the biggest nursing strike in NHS history. Uh, and they want a 19% pay rise, which um, is unaffordable, according to the government. And it's a complete massive mess. And half the country is on strike and half our national services are on strike. And this to me is no surprise. And it's going to get way worse before it gets better. And you need to arm yourself with the strategies, the tactics, the mindsets and the skill sets. Otherwise, unfortunately, it's going to hurt you like it's hurting everyone else. I am here to help, but you have to help yourself. Go to robmore.live forward slash Sunday. 
and Jared has already joined, so I'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.